Call it cool, call it gross, but citizen scientists discovered two new invasive pests in Minnesota this summer. Some invasive pests can do some serious damage. We know that. Take emerald ash borer, for instance, which has had huge economic and ecological impacts here in Minnesota. The Department of Ag says non-native pests have been responsible for nearly wiping out entire tree species within decades. So what do these new discoveries mean? I went out to St. Paul to see it for myself and to figure out what the state will do about it. My college degree was in biology and art, so it's kind of a combination. Krista Menzel has been working on this garden for more than 20 years. I think it's genetic. I got it from both sides of the family, so there was no escape. And my mom was a master gardener, so she kind of got me started back when I first bought this house. But this summer, during one of her garden parties, she noticed something unusual. Two beetles were crawling up this plant right here. And being a total dork and having been an iNaturalist for a year now, taking photos and posting Posting all these photos on iNaturalist, my mind quickly went into citizen scientist mode at my party. I'm very popular. Then she turned to the internet. I posted it on iNaturalist, and someone on there had um, said that they thought it was this Asi Asiatic garden beetle, which it, I looked up, I thought, oh, we don't have that here, and I just thought, no, no, no. After a little detective work. I came out after dark and um, started looking on here with a flashlight, and sure enough, there were several of them on this plant. She sent off a sample to UW-Madison, where it was confirmed. Krista discovered the first Asiatic garden beetle in Minnesota. I would say on average, we're getting between one and two new invasive species per year that is reported by, uh, you know, a one of our, our citizens. Angie Amborn with the Minnesota Department of Agriculture says just after Krista's discovery, someone else flagged the state's first elm seed bug, another invasive pest. And so that I sent off to the Smithsonian and had someone confirm it. Um, and so both of those are brand new finds sent in by citizen scientists. And the elm seed bug is really just going to be a household nuisance. They're mostly just going to congregate in people's windows and on people's houses and people are going to be annoyed by that. The Asiatic garden beetle? Those are turf grass pests um, and they're probably going to act, you know, pretty much the same. So I don't, it, it'll be a, a problem in, in turf grass, but if anything. We asked how the beetles have impacted Krista's garden. I didn't notice anything except some minor damage on the, the plant um, where I found my samples. You know, it's frustrating and depressing to know that we have another um, potentially p damaging beetle or, uh, you know, another insect that's coming into our, our habitat here in Minnesota that could impact agriculture or, or gardens. And we wanted to know what the Department of Ag is currently watching out for. Well, emerald ash borer is certainly right up there with number one. And then spongy moth, you know, in the, especially along the North Shore. And then if you look on the horizon, the spotted lanternfly is as close as Ohio and Michigan. And that is one we definitely have our eye on. That one has the potential to impact our grape industry and also our apple orchards is probably the two biggest industries that might be impacted by spotted lanternfly. So what can you do to stop the spread of invasive species? It is very easy, I think, to inadvertently move invasive species. Um, and not moving firewood is one of the best ways to help not spread invasive species. And so if you think you have something that you've never seen before, please report it to the Minnesota Department of Agriculture. And so it's still early, but then I asked the Department of Agriculture said, well, what are you going to do to treat these sure. two new discoveries to mitigate these potentially? And they told me that action is unlikely in both of these cases. Mm -hmm. So if they know something works, like you heard not moving the firewood, yep. they know that works and that stops the spread um, of certain pests. And so they ask people to do that. If they don't have any recommendations like that, they'll probably leave it for now. But as you heard, very important to report if you see something weird in your garden. You don't have to be a scientist. You don't have yeah. to be a specialist. If you garden and you're like, I've never seen that before, it's worth snapping a pic. They have a really handy report of pest online form. It takes a couple minutes. And that elm seed bug, you know, it sounds kind of like a box elder, that it's just a nuisance. You see a whole bunch of them yep. on the windows and the doors, which after the rain and this hot weather, they seem to be yeah. out more lately. They're too. coming for you. Sorry to say. Yeah.